Hi there everyone, Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update and unfortunately the area of convection just towards the east of the Philippines we have been watching for uh, about several days now has developed up into a tropical storm, tropical storm Tycock. Uh, that's been being called by the Trans Meteorological Agency Bagasa currently calling this area Helen and uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center calling it 14W or the 14th storm that has formed within the western pacific uh, this typhoon season now uh, this is currently tracking off towards the west northwest likely going to be just clipping the northeastern coast of luzon once again though you have these feeder bands coming in towards the storm fairly clear on the satellite imagery this is going to be bringing some heavy rainfall towards the west coast of the Philippines, not to mention the east coast, which is already being impacted by thunderstorm activity. You're continuing to see waves move on shore. Definitely stay away from the coastal areas. Cannot stress that enough as this tropical storm continues to push off there towards the west-northwest. But one of the main threats with this, yet again, is going to be rainfall. If we currently take a look at Tycog on the rain uh, on the radar imagery coming across Manila, and this is what I mean by these feeder bands. The storm is way off here towards the northeast, but you still have that cyclonic circulation coming around it, and you can see a lot of this thunderstorm activity. So around the Manila metropolitan area, it already looks like you're having some cloudy skies built in, and even some thunderstorm and heavy rain shower activity. Still continuing to dry out here from last week's incredible, and I don't think that's an overstatement, incredible amount of rainfall that fell across on much of the Manila metro area, not just there, but also even far south in towards Cavite City and off towards the north around Subic Bay. You also felt this and just is a crazy amount of rainfall, so still recovering from that, yet it does look like more heavy rain is going to continue to occur here going through the next several days due to our tropical storm off there towards the north. That at this time will continue to track on this west-northwest really progression basically following along the southwestern periphery of this high pressure way off here towards the northeast. Well, that high does stretch all the way down here towards the south. You see some of these outer gradients right around it here. Well, that high, the low, the tropical storm that is not going to want to go in that direction is going to continue to follow here and then eventually hook off and catch up with that stationary front off there towards the north. That's a general look at where it's going to be going, just in very simple terms, basically running downhill away from these high pressure areas. And that's actually what the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is currently showing on this storm, pushing it off there towards the west-northwest. Uh, they do have it actually re-intensifying or continuing to intensify up to a typhoon status here going on towards the 15th, strengthening as it moves through those warm waters of Luzon Strait. Also, wind shear beginning to relax here as well, likely as it continues on that northwestern regression. But here is the Japan Meteorological Agency, a little bit farther off towards the northeast is where they expect this storm to go. I actually am um, kind of actually leaning more towards what the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is saying, pushing it down here towards the south, just clipping the northeastern portions of Luzon here. But that, even if it does not make landfall, I do want to strongly stress, as we've seen with Saola and Haikui, is the fact that still... A heavy rain shower due to the enhancement of that monsoonal flow is going to continue to stream in here. And let's say the storm's right there. It's going to grab that moisture from the South China Sea. That's where the main problems lie. And then as the storm comes off here towards the north, even if it just goes towards the west of Taiwan here, you're going to have that right front quadrant pushing the water on shore. And then they have that heavy rainfall hitting those mountains yet again. I know that we are starting to get a little more familiar with this considering the last several storms with the mountains across Taiwan really due to these tropical systems. So if it does stay on this track, that's going to be another situation we're going to be wanting to watch very closely here. And since the storm is currently affecting the Philippines, I guess we should go ahead and show what Bagasa is currently saying. Very similar to Japan Meteorological Agency's track on Taikok or Helen here, what they're calling it, as they push it off there towards the northwest, eventually making a landfall. Uh, it towards Taiwan on the 15th going into the 16th of August. And then I show you the part of the video update here that I noticed by my analytics that most of you find the most useful here and this is our GFS model outlook currently. Uh, I am going to be showing you this one today vice any of the other models because this is the one that most of the agency is kind of relying on the most. You have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's uh, track kind of overlaid on it right here. 
and you can see that unfortunately yesterday I showed you several outcomes and it does look like this one is the one the worst case scenario that's going to be happening here well I wouldn't say the worst case scenario but it is not the best scenario to say the least it's gonna be moving here just towards the northeast of the Philippines you can see these feeder bands setting up here across the South China Sea pushing on shore towards the Metro Manila area and definitely if you have any flights coming in and out of this area here uh, let's see what the day is here on the Wednesday basically going into Thursday uh, that is going to be really hazardous to any of your flights as that storm continues to push uh, through the Luzon Strait and then eventually heads off continuing towards the northwest going across Taiwan and then into China still seeing that enhancement of monsoonal flow Taiwan as well you're going to continue to feel the effects of this through the coming days uh, going into the latter part of the week so definitely going to continue to watch our tropical storm Tycock here and also take a look at this the monsoonal flow coming across uh, the Bay of Bengal continuing to hit Myanmar over towards Thailand you have been continuing to feel the effects here low-lying flooding is also going to be of a major threat for the coming days as well but that is all for right now everybody thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com if you have any questions comments or suggestions please post them in the comment box below also want to remind you starting actually very soon here maybe tomorrow might be my last video for about a week and a half please continue to check the website at Western Pacific Weather I may still be pushing some videos out on this channel unfortunately they're not going to be tubecast related I'm actually going back to the states for the first time in nearly four years so I might be actually putting out a couple uh, podcasts or weather shares from that area so just continue to watch out for that but uh, definitely weathercaster Pat will continue to push his updates across the website and also we have the continued text updates from our various offers, uh, authors across here in the Western Pacific but thanks again for watching though please stay safe out there have a great day